Hey everyone, today we're going to be seeing if you can suck up water with a syringe in a vacuum. So I've had this request a lot and I've had it so many times but I've never been able to think of a way to actually do it. But today I thought of a method and we're going to see if you can actually suck something up while under a vacuum. Now the reason this is even a question is because the way that a syringe sucks something up is it increases the volume inside which lowers the pressure and so the higher pressure that's outside pushes it into the lower pressure and so that's what sucks it up in there. It's actually not anything sucking, it's actually the higher pressure outside pushing it into the lower pressure. So under a complete vacuum, could you actually suck anything into the syringe? Okay, so in order to do this, I need a little bit of an elaborate setup. So what I have here is I have a tube that's going down into the vacuum chamber down into the water. And I have my vacuum gauge connected to the tube here because my vacuum gauge usually goes right here. And so what's going to happen is when I pull the vacuum, it's going to pull the vacuum through this whole tube here. So everything's going to be under vacuum. And you can confirm that because this vacuum gauge, gauge is actually in line with the tube here. And then once it's under vacuum completely, what I'm going to do is actually pull the syringe so that it pulls a volume in there and see if any water actually comes up that tube here. So I'm going to be trying this experiment with two different liquids. The first one I'll try with water. And then the next one I'll try with a liquid metal, gallium, because they have different vapor pressures. So at normal atmospheric pressure, you can confirm that it works. When I just pull the syringe a little bit, it easily pulls it up through the straw here and I can push it back. Okay, now let's turn on our vacuum chamber and see if we can actually suck up water under a vacuum. Three, two, one. So it's bubbling right now because it's sucking out all the air from this tube here and that's the air that's, uh, that's uh, expanding and now being pushed out the tube there. So we're already at uh, three-fourths of a full vacuum here. Only around 0.1 atmospheres in there. As we get to lower and lower pressures, you can see that the dissolved air in the water is starting to come out. You can see those little bubbles there. So in this experiment, the complete syringe is not in the vacuum, but it's no different from actually putting the syringe in the vacuum chamber. The only difference is, is if the syringe were completely in the vacuum chamber and I went to pull on it, it wouldn't take very much force, just the frictional force on the side walls of the syringe. But when I'm pulling it outside of the vacuum chamber, now I'm actually pulling against the vacuum. And so I have around 14.7 pounds per square inch to pull against. So the only difference is how hard it is to pull the syringe. So it doesn't really matter whether the syringe is completely in the vacuum or just the one side of the plunger is in the vacuum like it is in this experiment. Okay, we're at mostly a full vacuum here, so I'm going to pull my syringe and see if I can suck up any water. Three, two, one. Well, it's really hard to pull. Nothing. <laughs> I can't pull anything up it. Look at this full volume. Okay, here we go. Pull, look how much volume I'm pulling. The water slightly went up right there. Okay, three, two, one. Oh, pull, it went up a little bit. Okay, so this is a 50 milliliter syringe, so I should be able to suck water all the way up with this volume, but look what happens. I can't get it. So no matter what I do, I can't suck the water up the tube. But now if I slowly increase the pressure, now if I just give it a little bit more pressure, then I can suck the water up. But it's still pretty hard. Okay, we're gonna get an explosion once I open this. I'm gonna pull the syringe off all the way. Here we go. <laughs> so now all the air is coming in through the back of the syringe here. So the reason this didn't so the reason this didn't work has to do with the vapor pressure of the water in there. 
So basically the maximum difference we can get between the inside of the syringe and the outside of the syringe is the vapor pressure of the water. And since we're already at that vapor pressure, even when I pull the vacuum so that it's more in here, this void in the syringe will actually get filled with water vapor pretty quickly. And so that I no longer have a lower vacuum in the syringe than outside of it. And so what that means when you're trying to suck up a liquid is you can never create a lower pressure in here than outside of it because it always get, gets filled with the vapor of whatever you're trying to suck into it. But what if you use something that has a really low vapor pressure like a liquid metal? So let's try the same experiment again, but use gallium instead and see if we can actually suck anything up into the syringe under vacuum. Okay, three, two, one. So again, the air is bubbling through. So at half an atmosphere, I can still pull it up into the tube. You can see, pulling it about halfway as we get to more and more of a vacuum. Okay, we're at a full vacuum now. Let's see if we can suck it up. Three, two, one. Uh. Okay, I'm going full pull now. Uh. And nothing, nothing's going up in the tube. Okay, the glass got dirty, so we're gonna try to look down the tube like that. I'm gonna pull the syringe. Pull, and nothing's going up it. It's not going up the tube. But now, if I just let a little bit of pressure in, let's close this, let in some pressure. Okay, now we're at around a fourth of an atmosphere. Now when I pull it, I can suck it up the tube. But when I was under the full vacuum, I couldn't get it. But here's what's interesting. Notice how much volume I'm pulling in the syringe here and how it's just barely going up the tube. But now atmospheric pressure, watch, I just need a little tiny change in volume and I can suck it all the way up into the tube there. So the lower the vacuum gets, the more volume you need to pull to actually suck any liquid up into the tube. At a full vacuum, even if you pull this all the way, you don't get any liquid moving up the tube. So no matter what you do, you can't suck something up into a syringe while it's under vacuum. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.